All right, so today was insane. Obviously, the Capitol in D.C. was descended upon by rioters and protesters. Now, one thing that I mentioned on Twitter that should be clear to conservative Republicans is that the police do not care about you. They will treat you horribly as well, and their main purpose is to protect the state, not you. I saw pictures of pools of blood on the ground. I saw police striking people in the head and spraying people with pepper spray. When you say back the blue, this is who are you this is who you are talking about. Their allegiance is not to you. Now some people are saying that this was actually Antifa and they're acting as provocateurs. I I don't know. It's possible. It's probably a mix of people. But the real point is, whether it was conservatives or Antifa members, it doesn't really matter. Because the police thought it was conservatives. So you got a live, real-life example of exactly what the police would do to you if you did storm the Capitol because the Republic is in danger and tyrants are taking over, etc., etc. Not all of these cops you praise will be your friend at that time. You pay them through taxes, but your name isn't on the check. Their loyalty ultimately sides with the state, even if the state is run by someone you detest, like Biden. That's a very, very important point that cannot be understated to those conservative Republicans out there that, you know, praise the police. And actually, as it happens, these uh, probably were conservatives being pummeled by the police, um, like I said, there were probably some Antifa provocateurs in there, but some people were saying that this guy with the bullhorns was seen um, at an Antifa rally back in June, but he was carrying a sign that said, Q sent me. And it was actually like, uh, it was like clockwork, because I was wondering if this guy was a member of Antifa. But while I was wondering, I had a live stream on, and he came out of the Capitol and was telling everyone, that they should all be the bigger people and go home and let's not do any more damage to the building and our point was made, etc. And I thought that does not come across as an Antifa member. Although this guy did just have his picture taken, as you see here, while he was standing in the VP seat in the Senate, um, which is the main seat at the top there. So I think he might have wanted to save face when it dawned on him. I might go to jail for a very long time for this. So who knows? But all in all, I'm sure there were some Antifa members in the crowd to stir some stuff up, but I was watching the live stream and I saw a good number of pretty old people screaming about Christ and God's judgment, which, you know, I don't have a roll call sheet for all of Antifa, but I don't think there's a lot of old white dudes in their roster. But anyway, the point is, is that conservatives need to learn a serious lesson here. Cops are actually a part of the government, that same government that you claim to sometimes not like. Cops are so much a part of the government that they will shoot you if you threaten their overseers, which is another thing. There was an unarmed lady shot in the neck, I believe, and died. People are already saying, well, look at this, it's white privilege, good God, here we go again. Uh, but it was white privilege that they... They were allowed to do what they did and storm the Capitol with barely any resistance. Well, like I said, an unarmed lady was shot and killed by the police. I would call that some resistance. I saw cops showering the crowd with pepper spray. I'd call that uh, resistance, too. They say if it was uh, BLM, it would have been a slaughter. You just don't know that. They rampaged and destroyed entire city blocks and decimated businesses. Many of those who did that didn't get any resistance, so I don't know what do you say to that. And not for nothing, this has been said before too, Antifa types lay siege to cities, and police literally stand by and let them do it. But someone without a mask on, or if there are one too many people in a six square foot area, cops haven't hesitated to pummel them, so that's another lesson to conservatives. These people are not necessarily on your side. They're not quite the defenders of freedom you think they are and they shouldn't automatically receive your respect. They are the forceful arm of the state, which you claim should be severely limited. Although, of course, you claim that, but the follow-through usually leaves a lot to be desired, but that's another topic. But uh, what happens from here on out? Um, I don't know. I believe this is the first time the capital has been breached since 1814 by the British. So this is a big deal, but it looks like Joe Biden is going to be sworn in, and after that, 
I think they'll see the futility in something like this. I don't think they've changed anything with this. Um, and in fact, I think they probably turned all the more lax Trump supporters, of which there are many, completely away from the Republican Party, or at least certainly away from the Trump wave. So we'll see. But the thing that these people don't realize is, although this is symbolic, it won't actually accomplish anything, considering the fact that government is everywhere. Government isn't just the Capitol building. Um, it would be like trying to destroy the internet by destroying a computer. It doesn't really make much sense. Um, but that's all for now. Like and subscribe, and take it easy.